श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम अथ योगाशासन योगश्चिवृत्तिरोध तदा द्रष्टु स्वरूपे अवस्थान वृत्तिसारूप्यमितर वृत्त पंचत क्लिष्टा अक्लिष्टा प्रमाण विपर्य विकल्प निद्रास्मृत प्रत्यक्ष अनुमान आगमा प्रमाण विपर्यो मिथ्याज्ञान अतद्रूप प्रतिष्ठ शब्द ज्ञानाती वस्तुशून्यो विकल अभाव प्रत्यया लंबना वृत्तिर्निद्रा अनुभूत विषय असंप्रमोश स्मृति अभ्यास वैराग्याभ्यादह त्र स्थित योभ्यास स तो दीर्घ काल नैरतर्य सत्कारा से दृढ़भूमि दृष्टाश्रविक विषय विदृष्ण से वशिकार संज्ञा वैराग्यम तत्परम पुरुषख्यातिर्गुण वैतृष्ण्यम वितर्क विचार आनंद अस्मतागमा संप्रज्ञात विराम प्रत्ययाभ्यास पूर्व संस्कार शेषोण्य भव प्रत्यय विदेह प्रकृतिलयाना श्रद्धा वीर स्मृति सामधि प्रज्ञा पूर्वकैतरेशा तीव्र संवेगासन्न मृदुमध्यादिमात्री विशेष ईश्वर प्रणिधा क्लेशकर्म विपाक आशय अपरा मृष्ट पुष विशेषर त्र निरतिशय सर्वज्ञ बीज स पूर्वी गुरु कालीना नवच्छेदा तस्वाचक प्रणव तज्जपस्तर्थन तत प्रत्यक्चेतनागमो अंतराया भावश्च व्यान संशय प्रमाद आलस्य अविरति भ्रांति दर्शन अलब्ध भूमिकनवस्थित चित्त विक्षेपा ते अंतराया दुख दौर्मन से जयत्व श्वास प्रश्वास विक्षेप सहभुव तत्प्रतिषेधा एक मैत्री करुणा मुदितोपेक्षाण सुख दुख पुण्य पुण्य विषयाण भावना तस्त प्रसादन प्रछर्दन विधारणाभ्या वा प्राण से विषयवती प्रवृत्तिपन्ना मनसा स्थिति निबंधिनी विशोका वा ज्योतिषमति we are studying at this stage what is that by which the chitta the mind becomes prasanna and unless our mind or chitta is extremely cheerful undisturbed we will never never be able to progress materially or spiritually therefore योग शास्त्र इज टेलिंग अस हियर विषयवती वा प्रवृत्ति उत्पन्ना मनसा स्थिति निबंधनी द माइंड बिकम्स फुल्ली कंट्रोल कंट्रोल्ड माइंड इज अप्पी माइंड ए मिजरेबल माइंड इज अनकंट्रोल्ड इट पुल्स यू बैक अगेन एंड अगेन टू द सेम रेचेड थॉट प्रोसेस एंड देन वी सफर एंड देयर फोर योगाभ्यास इज हेल्पिंग अस इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द इंट्रिकसी इंट्रिकसीज how we can get out of these negative forces because of which we are unable to use the mind rather than the mind using us thereafter we were told how this uh, pravritti hi the pravritti we have seen first pravritti means prakarsha vritti going to the causative level coming away from the sthula pancha mahabhutas to the sukshma that is the panchatan matras and then from panchatan mantra we have come to the hrut pundari kamadhe at the buddhi tattva up to here we have seen in our last lecture 
प्रवृत्ति उत्पन्ना मनसा हा स्थिति निबंधनी इति पुनरावर्त इति अनुवर्तते हृदय पुंडरी के आधार या बुद्धि संवित बुद्धि तत्व सही भास्वरम आकाश कल्पम तत्र स्थिति वैशारद्या प्रवृत्ति ही सूर्य इंदु ग्रहण मणि प्रभा रूप कारण विकल्पते सो वेन वी हैव फोकस अटेंशन ऑन द बुद्धि तत्व बुद्धि तत्व विल बी वॉट दैट वेयर द नॉलेज टेक्स प्लेस and that which is of the nature of knowledge alone it is not the knowledge of something it is knowledge by itself so this is called as the buddhi samvit and when the buddhi samvit is awakened the mind is still then the mind will not throw out the thoughts and when the thought throwing process is arrested the individuality is not born when individuality is not born the sadhaka is no merging tada drashtuhu swarupi avasthanam so he is in the process of merging back to consciousness so first the gross sthula uh alambana support then we have done the sukshma that is tan matras then we have done the buddhi tattva and now is the asmita tattva so tatha asmita yam samapannam chittam nirastang nirastarang mahodadikalpam shantam anantam asmita matram bhavati this is the example used by bhagwan shankara acharya in his vivek chudamani if you remember vivek chudamani shankara acharya did so tasmin asmitam in this asmita tatva i told you last time asmita tatva means what asmi means i am asmita means i am ness so this is the asmita tatva like you know pancha mahabhut shabda sparsha rupa rasa gandha tan matras buddhi tatva in the same manner asmita is the tatva and this asmita he is the one because of which the body is held together all the elements do not segregate so what is that which is holding the five elements in our body together what is that the mind is not separating from the body what is that the sense organs are functioning in a proper uh, rhythm this is only because of this asmita tatva or the ahankar tatva so tatha asmitayam samapannam chittam and when the object or the support for the mind or the chitta is asmita aham asmi then the mind become nistarang udadhi nistarang samudravat imagine the sea without a single ripple anywhere so निस्तरंग महोदधिक शांत अनंत अस्मिता मात्र देन देर इज ओनली एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बीइंग नेस नॉट दैट आई एम हैप्पी आई एम मिजरेबल आई एम निग्लेक्टेड आई एम डिस्गस्टेड आई एम हैप्पी नो नन ऑफ दिस थिंग ओनली द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बीइंग सो अस्मिता मात्र यत्र यदुक्त तम अणुमात्र आत्मानं अनुविद्य अस्मिता इति एवं तावत् संप्रजानीते इति एषा द्वै विषयो का विषयवती अस्मिता मात्रा च प्रवृत्ति ज्योतिषमति उच्यते यथा योगिन चित्त स्थितिपद लभते इतर फोर इन दिस् कंडीशन इति सेड अबाउट दिस् कंडीशन दिस् स्टेट ऑफ द अंतकरण तम अणुमात्र आत्मानं अनुविद्यम अस्मी इति एवं संप्रजानीते अणु इज द जीव सो अणुमात्रा अणुमात्र आत्मानं अनुविद्य तो वन कम्स टू रेकग्नाइज वेरी क्लियरली दट इट इज दिस एंटिटी व्हाट इज दिस एंटिटी नाउ इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ वेदांत द चित्तवृत्ति प्लस द चिच्छाया द चित्तवृत्ति असोसिएटेड 
और कीपिंग इन इट्स वूम्ब द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द चित और द कॉन्शियसनेस इज कॉल्ड चिदाभास युक्त सो इन दैट चिदाभास युक्त वृत्ति दिस नॉलेज टेक्स प्लेस दैट द रिलेटिव एक्सपीरियंसेस बिगिन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रिलेटिव एंटिटी कॉल्ड द अणु सो तम अणु मात्रम आत्मानम एंड इस अणु मात्र आत्मा इज वॉर्ड अणु मात्र आत्मा इज जीव भाव इन द लैंग्वेज ऑफ अवर वेदांत शास्त्र इट इज अहम वृत्ति सो इन दिस एक्सपीरियंस वेन द सीकर द साधक हैज गॉट हिज समापत्ति एट द लेवल ऑफ द अस्मिता तत्व देन ही इज एबल टू वेरी क्लियरली एक्सपीरियंस वॉट लाइक यू नो By the mind, we are able to experience the colors and forms through the eyes. Now, the by the mind, we are also able to experience the eyes. Now, the thoughts in the uh, mind are experienced by the aham vritti. Now, this aham vritti is also illumined by this asmita tattva. See, make it very clear. so this asmita tatva when the seeker gets established then that time he is very clearly able to see just like when i watch my own tv program on the tv i had never seen that the other day i was somewhere it was going on so i had no choice so i had to sit there then the person asked me so amit when you are seeing your self on the tv what do you feel like I said I feel like coming out. I am feeling suffocated over there. Now there I see very clearly. It is I alone speaking, but I am not that. See, this ability to separate the knower from the illuminator is abidance in the asmita tattva. So in in this, the object of knowledge misery. the experience of the misery is misery and the owner of this experience is mr miserable all these three things are illumined by this asmita tattva and in this asmita tattva none of these three things are ever able to create any disturbances and therefore here example is given nistarang mahodadhi kalpam like the ocean expands without a single ripple so tam anu matram atmanam anuvidyam anuvidyam asmi iti evam tavat samprajanide and in this man- manner he is able to very clearly recognize so uh, anu matram anu matra atyanta sukshma tattva so ahankaraspadam अहंता अनुविद्य अनुचित्य जानकर अस्मी आई एम इन दिस मैनर वन इज एबल टू रेकग्नाइज दिस इज कॉल्ड एज दबाइडेंस इन द अस्मिता तत्व वेयर द माइंड बिकम्स टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल थॉट्स देयर फॉर एशा द्वई विशोका विशोका ज्योतिषमती दीज आर द टू वर्ड विशोका मीन्स वॉट that from which misery is have gone for good there is not a trace of disgust or misery vishoka and second is uh, vishayavati so buddhi samvid rupa and asmita matra these two together are the vrittis and pr- pravrittis and they are jyotishmati they are prakash yukta they are illuminating self illumined and when दिस साधक द योगिन चित्तम स्थिति पदम लभते एंड इन दिस मैनर द चित्त ऑफ द सीकर कम्स टू दिस कंडीशन वेन ही इज डूइंग हिज धारणा ऑन द अस्मिता तत्व नो सी हाउ मेनी सपोर्ट आर गिवन फॉर क्वाइटनिंग द माइंड फर्स्ट वी स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द ऑब्जेक्टिव वर्ल्ड हाउ मैत्री करुणा मुदित उपेक्षा So when we are dealing with the world, these are the four techniques. Be always in the company of the happy people. 
don't be, uh, join the miserable people and become miserable. The third one is, we should always seek the company of the holy good people. And fourth is, with the criminals be indifferent. In short, don't spoil your mind because of anything in this world. Remember, I have been emphasizing this point. Those who become miserable because of anybody or anything, they are fools. Is it not the height of foolishness that I become miserable because of you? Why should I become? You become miserable, I won't. How simple it is, you know. From there we start, then we create a pravritti. Now that mind is focused on the tanmatras and then as they go nearer, subtler and subtler, deeper and deeper to the tanmatra, the mind becomes sukshma, atyanta sukshma. Then we come to the buddhi tattva and then come to the asmita tattva. This is how the mind is slowly, slowly as if an iron box is moved on your crib, uh, um, lungi with all the wrinkles. Everything is sorted out. This Taranga Maho Dadivan. Now, <coughs> one more technique is given by which the mind can also attain quietness. Vitaraga Vishayam Vachittam. Vitaraga Chitta Alambanen Uparattam Va Yoginaha Chittam Stitipadam Lavate Iti. So, Vitaraga. Now see, Vitaraga is freedom from attachment. The freedom from attachment is not a paperweight like thing on the table. No. Freedom from attachment is recognized in the hearts of the people. See? Like the table, uh, what do you call this uh, paperweight? does not require the mind to hold. It can remain on the table. But love, attachment, anger, greed, passion, they require the mind to hold. See, this is what in Bhagavad Gita, fourth chapter, when Bhagavan says, Yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati. Dharma is never destroyed. Because dharma is not a thing which is kept on the table. No. This dharma is accepted by the people in their heart. And when they start feeling doubt about the principle of the righteousness, then that doubt about the principle of righteousness is called as dharma glani. In the same manner here also. Vitaraga. Those who, are, who have discovered freedom from the likes and dislikes, they are mentioned by this word. So, vitarag vishayam va chittam. That means when our chitta, our mind is taking now the support of the, you take the support of a person who is established in this passion. This is where the importance of the external alamban of the saints and sages. When you go and sit in front of, let us say, Bhagwan Ram Krishna Paramahams. So now your chitta has taken the alambana, support of Ram Krishna Paramahams. Now when we think about, or when our mind is focused on Ram Krishna Paramahams, it can never think about anything else in this world. Because he is the very embodiment of dispassion. That is why it is necessary that we keep the life histories of saints and sages in our regular studies. The important part of spiritual practice. So when we go through their lives, we come to know how through all difficulties they have gone through and yet they remain untouched by the world. In this manner, Vitaraga Vishayam Vachittam the chitta, the mind, which is focus on, then tadakartha karita bhutva stiti pradam lavate. It also becomes totally quiet. Here example is given. Vitaragaha krishna dvaipayanaha te adayaha te sham chittan tadevalambana tena uparaktam iti. 
लाइक यू नो कृष्ण द्वैपायन we think about bhagwan vedavyas now we don't know bhagwan vedavyas so take the latest gurus which are available in the market see so that we can relate this i learned from one child when i gave the example of dhruva doing tapasya he said sami ji i don't believe in that cock and bull stories standing on one leg it is impossible and he is right we must give the example which will appeal to the people in today's time all the time bringing the ambarish and then the prallad and he was thrown into the fire and all that no father will do immediately he'll die 911 <laughs> child abuse therefore take the saints and sages who have influenced your life and when you just think about them your mind becomes quietened so after that is done then one more alambana one more support is indicated by which we can quieten the mind swapna nidra jnana alambanam va swapna nidra jnana alambanam va so by this also the mind becomes single pointed which are this swapna nidra jnana alambanam va or swapna jnana alambanam and nidra jnana alambanam this swapna jnana alambanam was used by for example uh, tukara maharaj tukara maharaj did not have a living guru he was given the mantra by his guru in the dream so he was holding on to this ram krishna hari ram krishna hari and that is such that in this experience no one has any access see therefore when we take the support of any kind of dream that we have had and then hold on to that there also the mind becomes slowly quiet now in all this the purpose is that we develop a faculty by which we are able to make our mind available to us for whatever we want with a snap if that is achieved then we are practicing yoga abhyas otherwise what happens you know we want to do something but our mind never cooperates and then our condition is like what our condition is like a car you start from uh, lonawala and you have to go to bombay and when you are going down the slope you require to apply the brake you apply the brake right time but the brake is received by the car after half an hour so by then you are totally destroyed exactly the same thing happens in our life we know this is wrong i have already decided to get up early in the morning at 4 o'clock ah uh, so far i never got up in the morning what has happened i am really happy healthy why in this 4 o'clock i'll get up in so the mind will never listen to us and we become the victim of the mind therefore here this all supports are meant so that we are able to attain perfect control and once you are in perfect control then you don't require alamman support like once the child is able to stand squarely on his two feet then he doesn't even on the contrary you must have seen when the children learn slowly slowly and when they get full confidence and if they are going somewhere on the road side the mother wants to hold the finger the child said no don't hold me he want because he is independent now and when he was a small child not able to walk then he instead will come and hold on to the sari of the mother see in the same manner till such time the mind has developed this complete freedom it will not go anywhere it wants but it is completely under our control till then all the supports alambana are required so sapta jnana alambanam so this is the sixth method of purification of the mind स्वप्न ज्ञानालंबनम और निद्रा ज्ञानालंबनम 
Nidra Jnana Alamana. What is the Nidra Jnana? Nidra we have already defined. What is the Nidra? Abhava Pratyaya Alambana Vritti Nidra. So that heart which is making the absence of absence as the object. In deep sleep, what is our experience? Absence of everything. So there the, the object is absence. Now here, nidra jnana alambanam. So when you are practicing dhyana abhyas, that time take this as the support. Absence. So there are many techniques given in Vidyana Bhairava and many yogic granthas. You start, like you know, you do this, then you will understand what is uh, uh, experience. Like you know, you start uh, imagining that that particular part of your body has dissolved. And suppose you are sitting like this, then now the legs have become dissolved, there are no more legs. Then there is no more lower trunk. Then there is no more the abdominal area. Then there is no more chest. <coughs> then there is no more neck or the throat area. And there is no more head. Everything disappeared. Absence is homogeneous. Absence is unbroken. And therefore, when our attention is on the absence, this is what is called as Nidra Jnana Alambanam. We have taken the support of this Nidra Jnana Alambanam. By this what will happen? That Yoginaha Chittam Sthiti Padam Lavate Ityartaha. So the Chitta of the Yogi becomes absolutely steady. This was the sixth Parikarma or the sixth purification. You have told you two things. One is the single pointedness, etc. Second thing is the purification. So this is the sixth purification. By this, the chitta becomes single pointed. Now the seventh one is also there, and that is indicated in the thirty-nine sutra. Yatha bhimata dhyanadva. Or else, yad evo abhimatam tad evo dhyayat. Whatever, whatever you like, contemplate on that. How simple. Not only Krishna, Rama, Govinda, no, whatever you like. I like papad, very good. Contemplate on papad. Anything. The idea is, give the mind some alamban, because of that, the mind will not run over here and there. So, yadevo abhimadam tadeva dhyayet tatra labda sthitikam anyatrapi sthitipadam lavate iti. And therefore, when our mind is thus fixed in the object of our choice, mind becomes single pointed. Now, don't you see this? When some uh, you know people are interested in reading the James Hadley's. So they in their routine, their mind just doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. The children watching the cricket match. Yeah. All the oldies, useless fellows watching Kasauti. Yesterday only I discovered there is something called as Kasauti, I didn't know. So they are so fixed in that. 
And during that time, if somebody comes, they become very angry. Well, don't disturb me. Now, my time. So, abhi, uh, yadevo abhimatam tadeva dhyayet. The idea is, yena kena prakarena, make the mind totally free from disturbances. In this manner, this is the seventh method by which we purify the mind from all the other objects and make it single-pointed. So, after having said this, now this control over the mind can be attained in two different ways. So far what we have seen, it is as if restated. This is said in the 40th Sutra. Paramanu parama mahatvantosya vashikaraha Now such a purified chitta, first with is controlled and second is purified. Such a purified chitta or the mind, vashikaraha. Now it has got the ability to be single pointed to such an extent that it can merge with anything. Now let us see Bhagavan Veda Vyasa's Mahasya on that. Sukshme nivishita manasya paramanvantam sthitipadam labhate iti. Now the first thing. Such a chitta which is now developed. Now it is pure and which is completely single pointed. Now such a chitta, when it is um, focus on the sukshma, first it is the sukshme, nivishita manasya. So what is the sukshma, what is the subtlest one? Subtlest one is the panchatan matra. So when our mind is able to focus directly on the panchatan matra, then what happens? Paramanamantam sthitipadam labhata iti. Then he has touched up to the level of the paramanu. So one is able to get as if he is a space. Like the space is the subtlest of the four, uh, five great elements in the same manner. Now his chitta is totally withdrawn from the gross world of multiplicity and goes into the subtler and the subtlest. Now see, now that chitta, be very attentive, which has developed this faculty, that it can go deeper and deeper, subtler and subtler that chitta will be able to look at the gross object and reach directly to the subtle causation level. See? And because of this, the great rishis are able to sit in their room and decide at what speed the shani moves around the sun, at what speed this Buddha is moving around the sun or the earth, See, where from they got this knowledge? It is from this faculty. Therefore, all the Jyotisha Shastra is not only a cock and bull story, but this is gathered by this. So, Sukshme Nivishita Manasya Paramanu Paramanvantam Siddhipadam Labhate. So, one is able to go up to that subtle level. And because of this only, Mahatmas are able to immediately understand our position. We look at the people and at the most our mind can go up to the clothes or the face, not beyond that. But those Mahatmas who have practiced this, they as if like X-ray vision, they pierce through and they are able to get a complete picture. Depending on that, they advise the Mahatmas, the seekers. Because they know where is the problem. How important it is. So, Sukshme Nivishita Manasya Paramanantam Stiti. Now, the second is Thule Nivishita Manasya Paramahatvantam Stiti Padam Chittasya. Now, this is one extreme, other extreme. Now dissolve the mind from all the limitations of smallness. Now this is another technique of meditation wherein 
we slowly give up the prithvi tatva then the jala tatva agni tatva the vayu tatva and come to the space gaganopamoham i am like space okay when the mind does goes into the space what happens yatha akasha sthito nityam vayu sarvatra go mahan we have seen recently yesterday only in the ninth chapter so when i contemplate on the space what happens he is what are the attributes of the space space supports everything but nothing is able to influence the space in that space when my mind merges see then it is able to include all the four elements first step second step where is the space space is in the mind so now the mind is focusing on itself the manastatva so when the mind is focusing on the manastatva space and other four elements are deleted because in the mind the whole universe is contained now where is this mind mind is in the asmita tatva so that amness is the one which is holding the whole cosmos in its present position and all this asmita tatva remains in a seed form in the mahat tatva in this manner we slowly break transcend the barriers of smallness just experience yourself suppose you are inside your room so much of things here and there you know no, no, you get up cuts you get somebody hit you do your hand you get hurt small and then you come out say ah like you know many people when they come to our lona or they how nice it is why in bombay they cannot look up immediately the mind is slowly expanding and when the mind expands to the infinite then that mind which has expanded and merged in the infinite that is able to comprehend the total secrets of everything they both are the same thing sukshma ati sukshma see anoho aniyan mahato mahiyan atmasya janto ho nihito guhayam tamakratu hu pashyati vita shokah mahimanam atmanam see this atma tatva is subtler than the subtler and bigger than the biggest and where it is nihitam guha i am that is our own essential self that to reach that experience is that this preparation through the yoga abhyas that is why you know those people who only uh, talk vedanta lipstick vedantis lipstick vedantis means the vedanta is sticking to their lips it has not entered anywhere in their system they will be only deceiving themselves therefore unless yoga abhyas forms an integral part of our life the study of the vedanta is only like prakrit that he says gal bajana is only a noise making machine nothing else so paramanu mahat mahat tatva antasya vashikarah इन दिस मैनर एवं ताम उभयम कोटिम अनुधावत यहां अप्रतिहात स पर वशिकार इन दिस मैनर वेन द माइंड इज एबल टू एंटर द सटलर देन द सटलेस्ट एंड मर्ज इन द बिगर देन द बिगेस्ट 
दिस इज द लिमिट ऑफ टोटल कंट्रोल ओवर माइंड एंड देन सच ए माइंड अलोन कैन मर्ज बैक इन द प्योर कॉन्शियसनेस नॉट अदरवाइज देर फोर एवं ताम उभयम कोटीम अनुधावत यहां अस्य अप्रतिघात अप्रतिघात विदउट इन ऑब्स्टेकल नैचरल सो वेदर सच ए योगी हैज टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन टू एनी वर्ल्डली एक्टिविटीज और ही इज टोटली विड्रॉन फ्रॉम एवरीथिंग इट इज विद द क्लिक ऑफ ए रिमोट कंट्रोल चेंज द चैनल विद इन नो टाइम दैट फ्रीडम इज अटेन्ड सो ताम एवं उभयम कोटिम अनुधावत यहां अस्य अप्रतिघात स परावशीकार दिस इज वट कॉल्ड एज द पावर ऑफ सिंगल पॉइंटेडनेस द पावर ऑफ कंट्रोल ओवर द माइंड तद वशीकारा परिपूर्ण योगिन चित्त न पुनः अभ्यास परिकर्म अपेक्षते इति अपेक्षते तद वशीकारा परिपूर्ण योगिन चित्त न व्हाट इज द परफेक्ट माइंड नाउ ही एज द डेफिनेशन परफेक्ट माइंड इज दैट माइंड विच इज एबल टू इन्वॉल्व इन एनीथिंग इन ए फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकंड and which is able to withdraw from everything in a fraction of a second it is not a dead mind no see one day i was uh, talking to somebody i said hey i am feeling very cold he said swami ji earlier you never used to feel cold even in the cold now you are feeling cold what is the reason i said now i have become healthy therefore how come i said when there is a cold and you don't feel cold that means you are unhealthy isn't it when it is cold and you don't feel cold is it not a unhealthy condition when everybody is able to see you don't see then your eyes are not normal and when people are not able to see you see then you are a ullu <laughs> so this freedom to get involved and to withdraw with total uh, reservation of the decision is called as the real control over the mind now such a antakaran now we have come to this point after it has happened now atha लब्ध स्थिति कस्य चेत किं स्वरूपा किं विषया वा समापत्ति हिति तदुच्यते ना इन दिस मैनर बाय दिस वेरियस काइंड्स ऑफ सेवन टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोसेसेस ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन यू नो दिस सेवन प्रोसेस ऑफ प्यूरिफिकेशन दैट वी हैव सीन व्हाट इट हैज डन लाइक यू नो व्हेन वी हैव डन दी व्हेन यू फोकस युअर डू द धारणा नासिकाग्र then you develop the gandha samvit so when your mind is focus on the tip of the nose you go deeper up to the gandha tanmatra of the prithvi now see where we have gone gross object has a smell smell of a rose smell of a sambar smell of something but when we have this dharana done and gandha samvit is done then we can go up to the tanmatra the essence of the gandha so in this manner by this parikarma purification so what is the purification purification is when the gold is existing as gold it is pure but when the same gold is called as the uh nose ring and ear ring and the wedding ring and the divorce ring then it is not pure gold because we are talking about the modified gold in the same manner gandha samvit the pure fragrance or the gandha 
there is no relative word in English. Ganda is Ganda. Either we'll say Durganda or Suganda. No, we are not talking about bad smell or good smell. We are talking about the Ganda. So when he who has reached the Ganda Samvit, he has gone beyond the modification of this Ganda or the smell. In this manner, Labda Stitikasya Cheta Saha, so by this purification, he who has heard, who he has attained, Labda, who has attained, this kind of Chitta is no more impure now. So what are the impurities in the Chitta now? First, interacting with the world in the wrong manner. And as a result, mind gets disturbed. The first impurity in the mind. So what is the right way of doing it? We were told the four techniques. Maitri, Karuna, Mudita and Upeksha. So react or respond in the world in such a manner that your mind doesn't become disturbed. Second thing, now when your mind is no more disturbed by the world, now go deeper. Take the mind to the Tanmatra, not the objects only. After you have taken the mind to the Tanmatra, a purification has taken place. Now these Tanmatras are also impure as compared to the Buddhi Tattva. So we even transcend that, come to the Buddhi Tattva. And even we transcend that, come to the Asmita Tattva. In this manner, slowly, steadily, when we become purer and purer, then what is the condition of that chitta which is immaculate, absolute, pure. This is the question. Now this is answered in the 41st Sutra. It's a very beautiful description given here. Kshina Vruttehe Abhijatasya Iva Manehe Gruhitru Grahana Graiheshu Tastha tadan janata samapatti hi Kshina vritte he pratyasthamita pratyasya ityarthaha So, when the seeker has attained this sthiti Kshina vritte he when the, all the vritti, all the uh, thoughts are stimita, they are totally quietened. When this thing happens, then example is given to explain this. Abhijatas eva manehe, like in case of a crystal. What happens in case of crystal? So, yatha uh, spatikaha Upasrayet bhedat, upasrayaha padartha bhedaha, tad uparoktat, tad rupa uparoktaha. When you take a spatika, a crystal, the crystal is 100% bias free. And when you keep, for example, this is a crystal, if I keep it next to this blue, so it starts taking the color of the blue color. If it is kept near the white, it takes the white shade. Because it doesn't have any of its own color. See? I was just uh, seeing when my bucket was filled. It was looking very dirty. I said, hey, dirty water has come or what? And then I took it in the, you know, the bucket is yellow, it was looking dirty. Then I took that in the jug and poured it. It is absolutely clean. I said, how come it is dirty there, is the bucket dirty? And then I put another colored mug into that to find out what is happening. And when I put a red color mug, that water started looking reddish. And this sutra was clear to me. I learned this sutra that time. If you see this, uh, what you call language, it is so clishta, very difficult to understand what these fellows are talking. So, just like 
the chitta which has no thoughts like the crystal which has no color of its own so wherever it goes it takes the 100% identification with that conditioning is it not in the same manner that chitta which is free from tamas rajas will be able to know the things as they are this is the meaning see when somebody is coming and i don't know who is that i don't know but seems to be a thief where from the thief has come because the thief was inside the heart it was not the mind was not as clear as a crystal so as a result what happens our knowledge is never the knowledge of the things as they are see we start the things under the goggles of biasness when a, see it happened once i told you probably this example one grandmother told me swami ji my daughter chants you know geeta very well i said okay start she said swami ji can i get my friend i said get whole kasba you bring out does it matter so she got her friend and together they started chanting 15 chapter now this granddaughter and her friend her friend was so superb this happened in pune and naturally after they chanted i took that friend first nearer to me hardly 6 years 7 years children you know so i hugged her i kissed her gave her chocolate and then the second one this was not tolerated by the grandmother so immediately he told that granddaughter's uh, friend go 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 home see your people are waiting for you go go and physically she lifted her and put her outside the house and then then by then i was playing with his her granddaughter and i say hey how nicely you chant where did you learn and all that thing so that grandmother did not want me to talk even to that friend because she is not my grandchild see the biasness but for me both of them are useless so i will see what is what see the difference this is what is meant over here that when the kshina vrutte he abhijata seva when all the thoughts are totally gone then the chitta is able to reflect exactly as the things are take another example suppose you are standing and looking into the water and that water is immaculate clean and disturbed like a sheet of glass so you can see your reflection completely as it is and then put little bit of gobar cow dung in that so immediately the reflection will become dull and then agitate it it will become more disturbed in the same manner when our antakaran he is carrying the dung of tamoguna and the agitation of the rajoguna that chitta cannot see the things as they are now what are the things as they are isha vasyam idam sarvam yat kinchit jagat tyam jagat everything is but the absolute existence we are not able to see that esha sarveshu bhuteshu gudhotman prakashate parmatma is everywhere we are not able to see then drushyate to agraya buddhya sukshmaya sukshma darshi bhi these are the sutras we are telling about what is the meaning of the sukshma ekagra buddhi this type of antakaran which is explained in this samadhi pad so paramanu mahat tatva ant asya vashikara sache sut sache chit so kshina vritte hi abhijata seva that is why it is necessary 
that our chitta has become so immaculate that we are able to reflect the divinity in its own glory, not modified. So, tat chaya pannaha tat pratibimba udgrahi san. And as a result, when the truth is reflected perfectly, it is recognized perfectly. So, upashraya karena nirbhasate tatha grahya alammano paraktam chittam grahya samapannam In the same manner, if this example is clear, now the next words are the three things. Gruhitru grahana grahishu three things. In every experience, there is an experiencer, gruhitru. Second is grahana, the instrument through which the experience is gathered. And grahya, what is recognized through the instrument. Now when our chitta, mind has become so pure, immaculate, then that mind will be able to recognize and understand who is the experiencer. He will be able, that mind will be able to understand what is the position of the instruments of knowledge and what is the position of the objects of knowledge. So in this manner, once knowledge will be complete, it will not be incomplete knowledge. And what is creating problem is not ignorance. Ignorance doesn't create problem. Incomplete knowledge creates problem. In the deep sleep there is total ignorance, happy. Not only we, others are also happy. So, Grahya alambano, alambano uparaktam chittam grahya vishaya grahya mana sampannam so grahya sarupena nirbhasate and therefore such a chitta is able to hold on to the gross object and understand everything instantaneously. Because now it is pure. Similarly, sukshma. So, grahyalambanam vidha, bhuta sukshman, bhutam sukshmam, tanmatrani, tatha, sthula pancha mahamutani, sthula tattva antar antar gataha, vishwa bhedo, gataparadi, bhautik vastuni, tyartaha. So, in this manner, by this ability of the chitta, the chitta is able to know the secrets of the tanmatra, the gross world and everything in this world. Therefore, in the presence of such yogis, you cannot hide anything. They are able to see the spade as a spade. Now, similarly, tattva vishubheda uparaktam bhavati and when this chitta has thus become one with the total objective world and that is called as the Vitarkanugata Sampradnya Samadhi. Vitarkanugata Sampradnya Samadhi means what? The mind goes and becomes one with this object to such an extent that every secret of the object is instantaneously revealed. See? We say na, that when the scientists are working, they are so single pointed, not disturbed. Mm -hmm. This is the meaning. When our mind has become so pure, immaculate, and it is focusing on any object of the world, in no time all the secrets are revealed. Because now the mind merges with that object. Because there is nothing which is holding the mind behind. This is how, this is the first thing. This is called as the Vitarkanugata Samadhi. And when the Sukshma Grahya Vishayak Samavati, and when the mind is able to go in the subtle layers of the objects, such as the thoughts, so how the knowledge is gained? This is an object, is objective knowledge. Then this is gained through the thought of the knowledge object, then that is at the level of the thought. So when the mind is able to go into the secret of the tanmatras and the mind etc., that is called as vichara anugata sampradnyat samadhi. So, these four samadhis that we have seen, 
फर्स्ट वॉज वितर्क अनुगत संप्रज्ञा समाधि वेर इन विथ दैट समाधि वन इज एबल टू रेकग्नाइज द थिंग एज दे आर विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी आई टेल यू दिस यू डोंट हैव टू प्रैक्टिस इट हैपन्स आई टेल यू वन ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियंस इन दिस दिस हैपन्ड इन डेली लॉन्ग टाइम बैक our um, one great mahatma was having his bhagavat katha in near uh, what is that red fort delhi and uh, he told me you come and uh, sit and listen i said all right i was staying in delhi those days so i was listening all the sessions he was sitting on the huge vast pit was made two three storied kind of thing open ground thousand ten thousands of people on the top he was sitting and on the second or third step after the gods and everything there i was given a seat and the more three four steps and then the public so i had never seen anybody they were to see my back and i used to see him so on the first day when we went there for our you know the initial puja the traditional bhagavat katha as it is done they will have a lot of pomp and show they'll bring it on the head and uh, sing and gaan and all kinds of things and then they take the pradakshina of the vyas pit so when we are going on that uh, dais which was constructed so uh, sahib ji please you come ahead because i was a sanyasi please you come ahead i said no 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 please no no you i said no don't force me you go ahead you are the main trustee you have done everything i am just a listener so you should get your due share not me i said in marriage the important person is the groom not those who are attending the marriage i am like that okay swami ji he went and second step he put and that plank which was kept it broke and he went to the patal I mean, you knew about it. I said, "How do I know? You have constructed this. I don't know what is happening over here." No, no, you knew. Therefore, you avoided. I said, "No, Papa, I didn't know." See, there is nothing there for you. Know, many times there is no logic. This is what it happens. You suddenly you do not know why this. Your mind is in you know interacting. It cannot be you know calculated and told. And this I experience so many times. Sometimes when the other person is having very very negative things, immediately you get so uncomfortable in the presence of such a person. So this is vitar ka anugata and vichar anugata sampradnya samadhi. Now the second one is at the level of the senses or the instrument of knowledge. Tatha grahane shu api drastavyam. That means grahana avl avlam. बनो रक्तम निर्वास थे सवेन द इन दी माइंड हैज बिकम वन विद द सेंस ऑर्गन्स टू सच एन एक्सटेंड दैट इट इज एबल टू रेकग्नाइज द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द सेंस ऑर्गन्स नॉट द ऑब्जेक्ट्स नो हियर बाय सेंस ऑर्गन्स यू शुड नॉट टेक द इयर्स एंड द नोज व्हिच इज सीन देयरफॉर न तु इंद्रियाणां गोलकाः ग्रहण विषयाः ते स्थूल सूक्षा भूतांतर्गता एव इंद्रिय शक्त एव ग्रहण सो वेन नौ अवर अटेन्शन एज कम टू द ज्ञानेन्द्रिय एज द विजन द श्रवणेन्द्रिय एज द एबिलिटी टू हियर नॉट द इयर वॉट वी आर सीइंग इट इज यूज बाय द मदर्स टू कैच एंड द ओल्ड पीपल टू कीप द ग्लासेस नो नॉट दैट इंद्रिया शक्त एव ग्रहण so the functional aspect of the various faculties and when this samapatti takes place when the mind is one with that then what happens ananda anugata samadhi sampradnya samadhi takes place therefore the yogis do not have to go and get in contact with the objective world they can experience the bliss of any joy by just being one with the essence of that sense organ 
But one of the biggest difficulties this happens in this is we get attached to that. And when you get attached to that, your upper vairagya gone. When there is no, uh, there, your para vairagya gone. When there is no para vairagya, no asampradnyat samadhi yoga. Then you, you remain only in that condition alone. Therefore, this is called as the ananda anugada sampradnyat samadhi. And thereafter, the last one, gruhitru purusha alambanaha. When the last step, Bhagavan says, Tatha Gruhitru Purusha Alamben Alambana Uparuptam Gruhitru Purusha Samapannam Gruhitru Purusha Sarupakarina Nirbhasate. So when the Chitta has uh, merged with the Asmita Tattva, because that is the one where all the knowledge is collected. In that case, that experience is called as the Asmita Nugata Sampradnyat Samadhi. And this Asmita Aspada is the Purusha. And in this manner, here the experience of this seeker or the Sadhaka is extreme. And in this manner, this Asmita Aspida Pada Grihitru. Now, some Mahatma says that the one more step, further step. Now, Tatha Mukta Purusha Analamana Uparaktam Chitta Mukta Purusha Samapanna Mukta Purusha Surupakarena Nirbhasateti. In the same manner, when the Chitta of the Purusha is so much merged with the great Mahatmas, then he starts expressing and experiencing exactly like the great Mahatmas. If you remember, when we were studying uh, our Ramakrishna Paramahams, his life, that time when he was doing the Upasana of Hanumanji, he used to leave the uh, dhoti backside as if it is a tail. And he is to never walk. He is to jump like a monkey. And he is to do the scratching, etc., as if the monkey. Because the mind has become so much one with that. See? Therefore, what is said here, everything is true. It is not only imagination. Therefore, uh, when the Aspita is with the Mukta Purusha, here example is given, Purushatvat Visheshadadi Neva Muktobi Purushaha Shukapralladadi Samadhi Vishetaya Sangrihitavya Iti. Therefore, one of the very powerful method of spiritual practice is contemplating on the Mahatmas. Satad evam Abhijata Manikalpasya Chittasya Gruhitru Grahana Grahyeshu Purushendriya Bhuteshu Tadastha Tadanjanata Sthitasya Tadakara Patihi. So, in this manner, when the chitta has become like the immaculate, like the crystal or the money, and that chitta, when it is coming in contact with the object, coming in contact with the thought, coming in contact with the indriyas, coming in contact with the asmita, it merges to such an extent that it attains oneness with those four tattvas and that is called as samapatti, vishaya karena bhasate, it becomes one. And as a result, the chitta is merging in the pure consciousness. Therefore, dheya, dheya padartha karita tastha tadanjanata. In this manner, when the chitta is completely one with the Dheya Vastu, where Tamas and Rajas can have zero impact, then this is the complete Samapatti and this is what is to be attained by the seeker. So, Tastha Tadanjanata Samapatti. So, Tad Evam Abhijatasya Manikalpasya Chetasa Grihituri Grihana Grahyeshu Purusha Indriya Bhuteshu Yatastha Tadanjanata Teshu Tithasya Tadakara Patihi Sa Samapatihi Tivchate. This is called as 
samapatti wherein the chitta has become one with all the uh, tattvas with total freedom and such a chitta is now able to enter the asampradnyat samadhi because then also this also is rejected the paravairagya becomes supreme in this manner these are the different stages through which we have to go after this is done then the next topic comes that here also the chitta might have become single pointed it has become one <coughs> yet it is divided why it is divided because every knowledge has got three aspects one is the object second is the thought and third is the knowledge of the object so based on this three aspects in every knowledge the mind is still divided so see to what extent the subtlety of thinking has gone and then with this it is called as savitarka and the nirvitarka what is that we will take in our next class om purnamadah purnamidam purnaat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vashishyate om shanti 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 hi hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om